So thanks for tuning in recently to the cold water winter feeder fishing. And while we were doing that, we were fishing with a very, very simple free running Paternoster rig. One or two people have uh, commented on our uh, channel just to ask me exactly what that rig was, because we didn't go into detail. So just to help you uh, understand how we do that, I'm just going to run through it nice and easy. So as I mentioned, it's a free running rig. So if we're fishing a commercial fishery like we were that day at Makins, today we're here at Springvale Fisheries. It has to be free running, so I've adapted what was traditionally a, a, a fixed paternoster rig into that. So first of all, just took my main line, this happens to be a six pound main line, and I've threaded a snap link swivel onto that. Let it run freely up the line, I'm just going to stop that off with a line stopper. I've got some nice little line stoppers here, probably should have worn my glasses, um, here it goes. Just going to thread one of those on, that's enough slide that up the line out the way which just gives me a nice bit of free line here and all I'm going to do is double the bottom over and I'm just going to double about six inches just wet that to make it stick together twisted it to form a loop and pass the doubled up end through the loop we've created three times wet that down, pull it down and that creates a nice strong knot. So basically all I've finished up with is a massive loop which is six inches long in the end of uh, my main line. I'm then going to slide the stopper back down, the swivel will sit onto the back of that, take my scissors, trim off the loose ends, making sure that I don't drop the spare bit line I've cut off. And what I've actually done is I've cut that loop, cut it off up against the knot. So I've now got, if you like, a 12 inch piece because I've opened up that big loop. And all I do with that is take the desired length and usually four or five inches is enough, pull that tight and I create an overhand figure of eight loop. So basically just a loop in the end of your line. I like my loop fairly, I leave it quite big. A, it keeps it open, so it's easy to put your up length on. But B, I actually think it lays a little bit flatter and stops spinning when you're retrieving. I'm going to sort of trim those ends off, save them for later, make sure you dispose of your line carefully. And basically, I've got my nice little stopper. I'm just going to let that swivel drop down to there. Clip me bomb on to my swivel. And I'll, you see, I pull it tight and the rubber stopper kicks off the rig. And I'm left with this little short boom, which is about five inches long with a nice little loop on. It's as simple as that. Clip your feeder on there, put your little length on the other end. You know where to fish. It's perfect. Dead simple.